Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, I love you too. I'm live. <laughs> ah, hi, Scotty. How are you? I miss you. I get to see Scotty in five weeks, four weeks. Look, Scotty, my hair is like basically back to normal. I didn't mess it up that much. <laughs> Hi, somebody waves. Anything you can say about Legacy Season 2? Nope. <laughs> I like my job, so <laughs> I'm going to say no. How was the promo shoot? It was good. Um, it's so funny. Last year, we... So basically... I feel like this is common knowledge. Am I allowed to talk about that? Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> basically, once a year, they do these, like, CW promo shoots for the shows. Um, so, like, if you go to, like, the CW Legacies account, you'll see that, like, the stuff that they post, we're all wearing, like, the same exact outfit for, like, the entire year that they post. It's because it's all done in one day. Um, so we basically had um, a full day of promo shoots yesterday. A lot of people thought that we were starting season two filming. We weren't. We were just doing um, promotion stuff, um, and it went really well. Um, it's tiring. It sounds weird to that it's tiring, um, but it's just like you go from like set to set to set and just um, pose, which sounds lame, but hi, Eddie. <laughs> um, I would love to come to Brazil someday. I love you too. Can't wait for season two. Same so weird i feel like it's been a very long time since i've been filming so the fact that i'm going back to atlanta and starting over again is very strange <laughs> come to texas i've been to texas before i've been to austin what's my favorite thing about josie that's a nice question uh, my favorite thing about josie i always say it's her kindness but i really mean it she's just a really kind person i feel like as we've gotten deeper into the season you realize that like her kindness is kind of overcompensation for the fact that she's like genuinely got some dark shit going on on the inside. But I like that she doesn't let the darkness <laughs> outwardly affect the people around her. I feel like it's a really nice quality to have if you're a shitty person on the inside, but you try really hard to outwardly be a nice person. <laughs> I don't think she's a shitty person on the inside, but she makes, you know, questionable decisions. I stay mas. Arigato. Favorite book? I don't think I have one. I have lots of favorite books. It's a birthday present to me. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. You want to see Dark Josie? I'd love to see Dark jo Whoa, Dark Josie. Dark Josie. Uh, I feel like we saw Mean Girl Josie last season. I don't know if we saw a genuinely dark Josie. I feel like you got glimpses of her, you know, when she plays with fire. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to see a genuinely dark Josie as well. I feel like we saw Mean Girl Josie quite a bit. She got petty towards the end. Uh, but yeah. You love my hair. Thanks. Somebody else did it yesterday. This is day two. <laughs> Where are my dogs? There's one right there and one right there. How's filming season two going? We haven't started yet. Do you feel out of practice for acting? I do. On a very personal level, I really do. Um, yeah, I feel out of practice. It's going to be weird. I feel like, yeah. Are we going to have a mermaid next season? I have no idea. And if I did know, I wouldn't be allowed to tell you. Um, do you prefer Josie and Lizzie friendship or Josie and Hope friendship? I feel like that's a very different dynamic. Because, oh, no. Josie and Lizzie are, they have a twin dynamic. You know what I mean? Hi from Wakanda. Okay. <laughs> Love from South Africa. You're studying right now? Well, you should turn this live off right now. Focus on your studies because your studies are more important than my lives. I'm literally not saying anything of importance. So you can, I'll save the live. Somebody will post it. And then when you're falling asleep tonight, you can just scroll up on YouTube and watch it then. It's like the perfect thing to fall asleep to. <laughs> to? Two. Um, 
Um, how did it feel being back with everyone for the promo shoot? It literally felt like no time had passed. Um, it's just funny all being in the same room. We're like, yep, what's up? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Hi from Germany. Hi. You're waiting for season two. Do I speak Arabic? No, I'm sorry. Um, uh, how do you think Josie would react to Kai if Kai came back? Ooh, ah, I thought about this so much just because I love Kai so much. I feel like it would just be so interesting because, like I said, Josie is genuinely on the inside kind of insane um, and obviously deals with a lot. <laughs> so if she were to meet a sociopathic killer, wouldn't that bring out some interesting conversations that Josie just isn't willing to have within herself? I don't know. Let's see. Lots of love from Singapore. Hi from Egypt. Wow. Portugal. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Vietnam. Wow. <laughs> Somebody says they really want to be a trauma surgeon. That's sick. Like, that's a lot of pressure. Good on you. <laughs> Study hard. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Study really hard. Um, and do what you love because you're going to be helping a lot of people and that's awesome. Hi from Arizona. I've been to Arizona. Every time you live, I miss it. You're here now, man. <laughs> when do we record legacies? Um, my dog is yawning and it's really cute. Yeah. Um, we start recording legacies mid July. Mid July. Mid to late July? Late July? Don't say the exact date. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi from Denmark. I love to Denmark. What are my dog's names? Barrett and Bodie, otherwise known as Bear Bear and Bobo. <laughs> um, <laughs> bloopers? Yeah, I don't know when our bloopers are coming out. I thought that they'd definitely be out by now, but they're not. So maybe they just never will be. Oh, well. Excited for Legacy Season 2. Yeah. What day this Season 2 premiere? I don't think we have an official premiere date, but um, I'm going to assume sometime in October, just like it was last year. Um, can you come to Denmark sometime? I was just in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. Am I ever going to come to India? I'd love to come to India. Can I say something in French? Not if I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> Do you want Josie in a relationship for season two? Um, I don't really know. I think, you know, Josie, I think Josie always is going to seek romance in every situation just because she's a very, she's a hopeless romantic. Um, and so she's always... Josie's just kind of one of those girls that's just not ever going to be single. Is that how you can say that? I mean, she's just like, you know that friend? Everybody has that friend that it's like she is dating this person for like a while and then she breaks up with that person and is like really like heartbroken over that person for ages and then all of a sudden it's like she's dating somebody new. I feel like that's Josie. I don't really know though. <laughs> I'm not a writer. Uh, I have no control over these things. Um, but she's just a hopeless romantic. She, I feel like she's the person that like watches the notebook in her spare time and listens to slow music on a record player and dances to it alone. That's just my image of what Josie is. Um, but I don't know what romantic relationships she has in store for the future. Um... Am I coming to New Orleans soon? Not that I know. Will I be at San Diego Comic Con this year? Am I allowed to say? No, I can't say. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am neutral. When you are back in Atlanta, please do a live with Quincy. It's been months. I know. I would love to do a live with Quincy. I just saw him yesterday. What advice do you have for learning languages? I love you. I love you too. Um... I don't think I'm very good at giving advice on this situation because I feel like I did really, really well when I was studying hard and then I started working and I feel like I lost low battery. I lost a lot of my language skills. 
Um, I would just say stay consistent, which I haven't done. So do as I say, not as I do. Stay consistent. <laughs> Make sure that you're genuinely passionate about learning the language. I feel like it's really easy to be like, oh, it's logical to learn this language. But if you don't actually feel passionate about learning the language and learning the culture, it's going to be harder for you to learn it because it's easier if you like the music and you want to watch TV shows in that language and different things that just you have to surround yourself with it to actually learn it. Let's see. Favorite black pink song. Favorite black pink song. I feel like Whistle is the most consistent one for me. I always come back to Whistle. Let's see. Hi. What instruments do you play? None well, if we're being really honest with like everyone here. I suck at playing instruments. Do I like to play a lot of them? Yes. <laughs> um, I try to play the ukulele, the guitar. I played cello for like a hot second and I was not good at it. I played piano for a hot second, wasn't good at that. What else did I try playing, mom? That's it, right? Yeah. yeah, that's it. What's your favorite song from from the Kill This Love album? Maybe Kick It? Maybe. Um, I've never been to London. Can your mom adopt me? Hey, mom. No. Okay. I love you. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, dogs. Yeah, we have dogs. Sorry, there's not enough space. Um, I love you too. Um, people keep asking about different ships for season two. Bro, I literally don't know. Like, don't ask me. Just ask Brett Matthews, Julie Pleck, anybody. Just tweet the writer's room. They probably won't answer you. <laughs> but I can't answer any of these questions, and I also don't know majority of the answers to these questions. Dude, where are your bangs? So many people are so confused. <laughs> okay, so my bangs, my hair grows really fast, number one, but my bangs are right here. They're just long. They were like right here when I got them cut. They've grown about, what, an inch-ish? But if you just kind of finesse them when you're getting them curled, meanwhile, like somebody actually professionally did this, um, but if you just curl them with the rest of your curls, they're basically gone. If you have bangs that you just wanna have go away, the uh, way I go about them is just pretending that they're not there. <laughs> they were fun for a second, <laughs> now they're just in the way. Um, my favorite thing about acting and how did I get into acting? My favorite thing about acting, wow, there's a lot. I think that growing up I always liked to get into different people's head spaces. And I didn't even really know that that's what I was doing. But when I was watching films, it was always something of, oh, if I was this character. And I would go around and play make-believe by myself. That's sad sounding. Anyways, um, so the, <laughs> the fact that I get to do that as my job is really exciting. And it's just, it's a fun job. If you really take away, it's a hard job, don't get me wrong. But there's, I get to step into a character and try on different clothes and really in, just embody somebody else, and that's really exciting. How did I get into acting, was the second half of that question, was that I always really wanted to be an actor, but I actually, I wouldn't say I got scouted as a model, but um, a photographer came to my house um, to take like family photos um, and was like, hey, to my mom, your daughter should try modeling. And my mom was like, okay. Um, <laughs> and so I got a modeling agent and my mom, I'm gonna just like talk you up cause you're so awesome. Yeah, she is. My mom actually uh, used to drive me, I lived in Vegas at the time. Um, and Vegas is about four hours from Los Angeles. My mom would actually drive me, my little booty, from Las Vegas to Los Angeles, four hour drive each way, uh, for modeling castings. And if you know anything about modeling castings, you literally show up, you wait for about anywhere from like one hour to four hours, 
and you go in, they take a Polaroid shot of you. This is how it was back then. I don't really know how it is now. Um, and then they say, okay, thank you, bye. Um, so my mom would drive me four hours, eight hours total for somebody to just take a Polaroid shot of me and maybe possibly book something. Luckily I did. <laughs> Thanks mom. Um, so I started modeling um, and I enjoyed it until I didn't um, <laughs> because I just really wanted to act and then it kind of all lended towards acting because a lot of agencies, if you don't know, usually have a modeling department, a commercial department, and a theatrical department. Um, so when I started kind of moving up in the different departments, I started auditioning for acting. Yay. Thanks for being a supportive mom. I love you. <laughs> um, uh, I feel you with the modeling thing. It's so boring to wait. It is so boring. Anybody that thinks that they want to be a model, wow, good on you. It is so boring. Not necessarily modeling as a whole is boring, but the modeling castings are horrific. I do not miss them at all. Okay, <laughs> that, was, that was a negative side thing, but, you know, do what you love. Shout out to your mom. Yeah, man, shout out to you. Hey, thanks. Love you. Do I like K-pop? Yes. How old was I when I started acting slash modeling? I started modeling when I was eight, and I started acting when I was 12. So yeah. Who does Kaylee be my mom, please? No. That's just a lot of pressure. And um, I can't even take care of myself correctly. So. <laughs> what is a role or genre you would love to do eventually? Action! <laughs> I want to be in an action movie! <laughs> I really want to be in an action movie, Mom! Tell them. Just like, I want to be in an action movie. Okay. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> My mommy believes in me. Um... Let's see. Kaylee with a heart. <laughs> um, how am I today? I'm good. Um, is it too late to start acting when you're 18? No, nope. not at all. So many people will go to college and graduate college and come over to LA after graduating and they'll start up. Mind you, it's hard. I mean, it's a really hard industry to break into. Not gonna lie about that because then there is the people that have been auditioning since they literally came out of the womb. Um, and so you're like, you know, 20 years old and you're sitting in the casting office being like, this is so exciting. And then you have the other 20 year old sitting there being like, oh my God. And they hug the casting director because they got coffee the other day. <laughs> like, it's just, it's a hard industry to break into. Um, okay. Okay. You love how you talk about my, I, you love how I talk about my mom. I love my mom. Um, I'm your spirit animal. Okay. Um, if you could do anything other than act, like direct, produce, costumes, etc., what would you do? I don't think I see myself, mind you, this could totally change, doing anything um, sort of behind the scenes, just because I am so passionate about acting and the idea of directing makes me break out into cold sweats. Um, <laughs> um, so if I were to do something outside of acting, I think it would be very far from acting. Um, probably doing something more on the linguistics side of the world. Um, but yeah, I don't really see myself as a director, maybe producing, but not, it's not necessarily a passion of mine. Um, but yeah. Where am I from? That's a hard question. Born in Florida, kind of raised in Las Vegas, um, also kind of Orange County, also kind of Los Angeles, but my whole family's in Hawaii. It's all very confusing. <laughs> um, let's see. I feel like this was a good life, you know? We answered questions, you know? <laughs> I feel like some of my lives kind of suck because I'm just like, what? What are you guys talking about? 
<laughs> but I feel like this is a consistent time to, no, I can't speak English. This is a good time to be like, all right, I, I like, you know, I answered a decent amount of questions. Now I should probably let you guys like live your life. <laughs> so I'll let you guys live your life. Study hard. Um, drink water. Have I drank water today? I haven't. Okay. I'm going to go drink water. You should go drink water too. And we're going to break and break. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.